Hi, today I'm at Kettlewell to meet Joe. Joe, you're a colour consultant, and I'm also going to meet Melissa, the founder of Kettlewell. And Joe, one of the problems I think, as you get older, how do you, firstly, how do you know what to wear? Where do you buy the clothes? And what colours to wear? Because as much as I love colour, I don't feel confident knowing what to wear. Where, where do I start? Okay, so we all have a palette of colours that works for us, that makes us look and feel our absolute best, makes our skin look brighter, our eyes sparkle. And what happens for a lot of us as, over time, even if we were wearing those colours when we were like younger, we lose confidence in the colours that work for us. And so a colour analysis process really is about bringing us back to the palette of colours that makes us look and feel our best. Um, so we want to find that those colours, the version of red, the version of blue, that makes you look and feel absolutely amazing. Oh, sounds perfect to me. I like the idea of looking at <laughs> So, where do we start? So, the colour analysis process, the first part of it, is going to be about finding out whether you have a warm or a cool skin tone. So, we're going to be comparing different versions of each colour, and actually you can see if you look at our colour wheel, all the warm yellow based colours fall on the top half of the wheel, and the cool blue based colours are in the bottom half. And we're going to be comparing colours from each of those sides, like we do with a lipstick at the lipstick counter, to see whether we suit a warm tomatoey red or a much cooler burgundy red. And we're going to be comparing different versions of colours like that to see which ones make you look fresher and younger and brighter, make you feel good about yourself, and which ones maybe make you look a bit tired, highlighting any imperfections, things like that, which obviously we don't want to do. Sounds perfect. Can you work your magic on me? I can, let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's grab a chair. I'm getting to position. Now, normally, Joe, this procedure takes quite a long time, doesn't it? This yes. isn't something you can do quickly. So what we're going to do is we're cheating a little bit because actually we know we've already done the analysis. We've done the whole process, not in front of the camera, because it just takes a bit longer than anybody's going to, sit, going to want to sit and watch. So we're cheating a little bit. We know what the answer is before we start here. But what we did during the analysis process was we picked a few of your best and worst colours to start to try and show the difference between those warm and those cool colours. And also whether you look better in brighter colours or much softer, more muted shades, which is the second part of the analysis process. So the first part was looking at those warm and cool shades to see whether you look better in a warm tone shade or a cool tone. And actually we can see, so we put on, the first thing we do is put on a cool blue toned red, which has a hint of kind of burgundy about it, quite a deep rich shade. And we compared it to a much warmer rust red. And we could see immediately, as soon as we put that rust shade onto you, you became much more sallow, you looked more tired. It added a few years. This was not what we wanted to achieve at all. But <laughs> no, take we, the years <laughs> off. Yeah, yeah we take that off. Yeah, just take the years off. Not, and um, uh, and as soon as we did, we literally took 10 years off. When we came up to this cool tone, blue-based red, it brought out the brightness of your eyes, your skin looked clearer and fresher. And we saw the same thing. We looked at a couple of green shades and the cool toned green made you look fresher, brighter, clearer, it was a real wow colour on you. And when we compared it to the warm tone green, again immediately we, you looked much more tired, your skin tone went slightly sallow, everything became a little heavier, a little, more, a little older looking. And when we did this, we saw you again, you came back into focus, your colours came back into your eyes and your skin tone, you looked so much fresher. So doing that process with a series of drapes, we actually discovered that you have a cool skin tone and again, when we were comparing those softer, more muted shades, and we can see here, this is another cool tone green, but compared to this deeper winter shade, the softer summer version did absolutely nothing for your skin tone. Again, it was making you look a little bit tired, a little bit flat, whereas that deep, vibrant winter green was really bringing you to life and making your colours look your absolute best. What's quite extraordinary is you only have to be a few shades different for something that really makes your 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 skin your hair your face pop and one that drags it down yeah and that's the importance of the analysis process that actually really it's finding out those exact shades that work for you it's not going oh i can wear green or i can wear red it's finding out which green and which red whether you can wear black things like that that really make the difference in feeling absolutely amazing and wow and feeling drab and dreary and a bit frumpy okay so this process, this took about an hour, didn't it, to go through? It did. So we first thing we did, we colours. figured out you've got this cool skin tone, and then we got to you to that bright winter palette. So we found out that you were a, a, a dual winter. You suited the really strong, vibrant winter colours. Okay. So 
from that stage, we then go on to look at the clothes that we can actually absolutely and that's, choose in those colours. And that can be the tricky bit for a lot of people is figuring out where, you know, I know now which colours work for me. For you, it was those deep dual colours. And where do I go to buy them? And that's really where Catalogue came in, is that they can, you can go on the Catalogue website and you can choose the colours, the clothes, according to which season you are. So it's completely idiot proof. And that's really where Melissa and Catalogue come in. OK, well, we're going to speak to Melissa and she's going to explain more about the clothes and the colours and how you actually put these choices together. Now, you very kindly, you've given me a list of exactly which colours work with a, a scoring and also a colour wallet because this is really helpful so when you go shopping you've got a little colour wallet instead of what I've been doing which is actually having the Kettlewell website up on my phone trying to compare it with the colours which I'll probably still do because it's amazing if you haven't seen it just go onto the website and have a look but this is actually a little wallet that you can take with you so we're going to put a link under the video to how Picapool can get in touch with you and how they can actually get the colours done. But the wallet's amazing because you can tuck that in your bag. But we're going to speak to Melissa, find out more about Kettlewell and how you can put the two together, how you can actually put your colour choices and the right colours for you into your wardrobe. So stay with us. Now, as you saw earlier, Jo actually sorted out my colours, found out that I'm a cool winter, I quite like being a cool winter. Yeah, it, uh, it does, doesn't it? I'm now here with Melissa. Melissa, you're the founder of Kettlewell. Now, tell me just a little bit about what inspired you to start Kettlewell. Um, well, I had my colours done, as you've just heard, and um, discovered that I was a spring in the middle of the winter, and the colours that I looked good in were things like apple and yellow and turquoise, and I couldn't find any of my colours on the high street. So when John and I were moving from London to the country and thinking of a business to start, um, I just said I would love to do something with colour. I can't be the only person who wants to wear colour. So, hence Kettlewell. Fantastic. So, I've had my, my colours analysed. Yeah. Where do I go from there? How do I start to then bring this colour into my wardrobe? Okay, so we have discovered that you're a deep jewel winter and um, Kettlewell has 150 colours online, so approximately a quarter of those colours belong to you, are colours that you can wear. Now I haven't got everything here, but I've just chosen a few colours from the winter palette. Now um, fortunately for you, uh, you can wear black and white and all the shades of grey. Um, but I haven't just chosen those colours because it'd be quite dull, so I've gone for some brights and also some neutrals. Um, but all of these colours are cool and have a clarity to them. And the way that you would combine them is either in a block colour, in a strong block of colour, or in high contrast, as in black and white, or navy and white, or um, a neutral colour with a strong jewel pop of colour. Okay, now I should probably say at this point that I came here in the car this morning and drove here for about three or four hours. So I'm rather casually dressed. Um, probably didn't think this through very well, but I know you're going to sort me out and you're going to put me in something that looks a hell of a lot better than I do now. Okay. So, what would you suggest we try? Okay, well to start with, I mean you're, you're obviously a natural because you're wearing navy and white, which sits in the winter I palette. think it was a lucky break. So, that's fantastic. And I don't want to go too extreme to start with because I think a lot of people have their colours done and are terrified by all these bright colours and how to wear them. So let's just start simply with a, a jersey basic and add a pop of colour. So if you wouldn't mind just putting on one of our, uh, this is a, a Breton stripe, it's okay. indigo and white, and, um, and then we're going to add a nice bright pop of colour. Okay. Uh, we have got some other pops of colour we can try, we've got a fuchsia there and a azure blue, but let's start here and see how okay. you feel. Right, I'll be right back. So, for my complete transformation number one, what we've done here is we've actually put a, a monochrome long sleeve t-shirt, mm -hmm. which is not dissimilar in colours to what I was wearing, obviously exactly. a bit brighter, and then just given me this amazing splash of colour, which I, yeah. I think is absolutely fantastic. Yes. And the great thing about stripes, already, you know, you're doing high contrast, you've got that dark indigo with the bright white, so that's contrasting in itself and then adding that wonderful vibrant purple 
really makes your face light up. Mm. Yeah, it's great. I think that's absolutely lovely. And this is such a simple way to incorporate colour into your existing wardrobe as well, isn't it? Exactly. I've got another couple of scarves here. I mean, these are our best-selling scarves, the Florence Infinity scarves, because it's an instant pop of colour. So, you know, if you've just got a white t-shirt, if you've got sort of navy and white and you just want to add that colour, you know, pop a fuchsia, just put wrap that round your neck and there you've got... And these are jersey, are they? These are jersey, yeah. Feel gorgeous, don't they? So they're just easy. I mean, you can wear them long or you can just wrap them round twice, but it's just an instant pop. So whichever season you are, you know, we've got lots of colours in, in your palette. Okay, so stay with us. Because I think we've got another transformation coming up. We're going to be a bit braver next time. Okay, we're going to be brave. <laughs> Stay with us. Thanks for sticking with us. Melissa, you have taken me right out of my comfort zone because I actually went to school in Bottle Green at my senior school and it wasn't a colour that I particularly liked. I have to say, I really like this colour now and thank you for making me, me try it. So tell me what have we done? We've gone for a contrast here, haven't yes. we? We've got away from the blue jeans into exactly. white. Exactly. So we're doing this high contrast look again, which does suit the winter so well. And what we've also done, because it's quite a dark colour, and you've got the contrast, we just need a little pop of colour. So we've brightened your lipsticks. You've got a, a stronger red lipstick on now, just to add that accent of colour. So it's still, I, I mean, I know a lot of people find green quite challenging colour to wear. Um, but it's got those cool tones in it. It looks wonderful on you. It's deep. It sort of works with your colouring. Wearing it in high contrast, I think it looks great on you. And it's not too, it's not too scary, bright. It's not too scary. No. So this is really what you do at Kettlewell is kind of match up colours with people, isn't mm -hmm. it? Because this is obviously right for me, but for somebody who was maybe a spring, yes. this wouldn't work at all. No, so for instance, I mean, I'm a spring, um, so light and bright and warm colours. If I put that colour on, which also, funny enough, was my school uniform colour, um, <laughs> it's just too heavy on me. It's just too dark. Mm. Um, so no, it wouldn't work at all. Okay, so this is the, uh, the sort of colour block contrast. And uh, these pieces come in for how many colours? Um, well, that particular style comes in 10 colours. Um, I mean, that's the best selling style. The faux wrap we sell, you know, we've got print faux wraps, we do them in different fabrics. They're just very flattering to the figure because they go in at the waist and there's ruching across the stomach. Um, and um, they're quite smart works for top. Uh, smart, Tops for work. Tops for work, exactly. <laughs> but they're also great for travel, aren't they? Yes. Yes, because I'm thinking about holidays, you know, how many things I can buy today to actually pop in a bag to take on holiday. Melissa, thank you. We're going to, I think we're going to have one more go at something. You're going to push me out my comfort zone I'm, again. I think we should go for a bright colour now. Yeah, okay. Let's go for a bright. Stay with us. We're going to have another change and get a bright colour on. So, thanks for staying with us. Melissa, you have taken me way out that comfort zone again and put me into this amazing sort of fuchsia colour. Can you talk me through what you've done to me? <laughs> okay, so what we're doing here is we're doing three block colours. Um, we're using fuchsia, which is one of your double star wow colours, as you know, immediately under your chin. So that wonderful light that we know is so good for you, so harmonious to your skin tone, is there reflecting good light. And then, um, I mean, really navy and white are quite neutral, but because you've got that lightness down there and then you've got the darkness of the navy, you're creating this high contrast again. But three block colours works very well for the winter, the winter palette. And all colours that were chosen by Jo to really suit me. Which exactly. Is, is I mean, actually, having said that, the navy was also a double star colour for you. So, um, and we've also got a fuchsia lipstick, so you are really... Um, embracing your best colours right now. And that's something that was really interesting when Jo and I did the colours, was trying different lipsticks that actually suited my skin tone and colour palette. Mm -hmm. It made such a difference to whether it lifted your face mm -hmm. or, or brought it down, and, and colour, obviously, in your clothes yeah. does the same thing. Yes. So, this is, it's been an incredibly exciting day. I've really enjoyed actually learning how to build colour into my wardrobe. And also, the thing that I've found incredibly exciting is just how wearable your clothes are. They're incredibly comfortable. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Um, I mean, we, what we try to do is um, we've got a lot of camisoles and sleeveless tops that are fitted you can wear underneath. And then these sort of wraps, we sell a lot of these because um, you can create a lovely... 
um, slim silhouette and then you have the, the wraps that go over the top which um, just just a bit more forgiving and um, you know create a nice shape. And again they, they work for whether you're working, whether you're on holiday, whether you're at home, they're so versatile mm -hmm. aren't they? Yeah. Incredible. Absolutely. I was hearing earlier just how many different items and colours that Kettle Oil do. It's quite extraordinary. You've actually outgrown your premises. You've got so many. Um, we have. As I was saying to you earlier, um, I've been trying to put my orders in with the factory and, um, and I'm saying to John, please can I put this style in? And uh, he said, we've run out of space. So yes, we are officially looking for larger premises so I can order more colour. Well, it's very exciting and thank you for sharing this journey because I've had a great day. It's been really exciting. We're going to put all the details of Kettlewell below this video and if you've got any questions about colour for Joe or for Melissa just just drop them below the video and I'll pass them on and get them answered because I think if if you're like me if you're in your 50s or even if you're just over 40 I think we all get kind of stuck in this rut of not knowing what to buy where to buy it how to wear it so any questions send them through and we'll be passing them on thanks for watching Melissa thank Great. you so much thank you